Okay, fellas, we got another good one for you today, but don't forget, hit that like button, hit that sub button, leave a comment, all that good shit. So today we're going to be talking about all the fucking Rogan shit that's going on the past, like, week or so. Haven't done a video in a while, didn't really have dick to talk about, but we got, we got a decent, solid one today, okay? We got this Rogan shit going on. Now, this Rogan shit has spiraled into more and more and more, so we'll just go one at a time. I right, first off... People have been fucking complaining about Rogan for so long, okay? Guy's fucking, what is it? I've, everyone's seen the fucking numbers of him, 11 million views per episode or whatever. And the, no one gives a shit about fucking Fox News or CNN, okay? No one fucking cares about these fucking article websites. Even if they're online and they're trying to adapt to this new shit, okay? No one fucking cares. No one cares about Fox or CNN or the, the traditional media TV things, right? That shit was innovative. Post newspaper, okay? You're fucked now. You're fu It's like these guys are fucking bringing granite wheels to a fucking racetrack where these fuckers are driving fucking Ferraris with these absolutely stunning wheels, okay? It's just, they're out of it, okay? They're not fucking in it anymore. They're, they're, it's just the medium is old. No one fucking cares and no one likes it. No one trusts these fucking people, okay? But they go to Rogan and they're just having, like, they're just enjoying a guy talk. I don't even think these people are listening to Rogan wanting to, like, get information and such. It's just, like, an entertaining podcast to listen to. No one is, like, going to Rogan for, like, their news. He just has people on, and they, they just... It's entertaining to hear him talk to people. Guys just going out there talking to people for four hours. People like who Rogan is. They like the personality he's got. And he brings on interesting guys, and they like those. They like those guys. Like, I don't think people are really watching Rogan for the fucking news. I just don't think so. Okay, but obviously he says some stuff that um they don't like, that the the mainstream, the White House doesn't like. Okay, so they've been uh, complaining about Joe Rogan and misinformation for a couple, I don't know, a month or so, right? And then the first here comes the first fucking domino. Okay. Neil Young, I think it was Neil Young, I don't know who the fucking guy is, but I believe his name was Neil Young, is like, you know what, take my fuck, he didn't say this to like Joe or like a public statement, I believe he said it to like a manager, tell Spotify, hey, you can either have my music or you can have Rogan, and Spotify of course was like, bro, they Spotify didn't even know who this fucking guy was, like, who the fuck is this dude, is our music even on, is his music even on Spotify? <laughs> But they, obviously, they end up taking his fucking music off. Because, again, I don't even know who this fucking guy is. I, I had to, like, Google Neil Young and music. And I thought he'd have, like, a, like, like one of those, like, one-hit songs, like, a while back. Like, I don't know, like, A Horse With No Name or some shit. Like, he'd have, like, one of those, like, you know, there's that, like, one fucking super sick old song from, like, the 70s or 80s that you knew. That's what I thought. But I listened to a couple of them, and I really didn't fucking recognize any of them. So... Obviously, who the fuck, who, who even knows who this guy is, okay? Who the fuck cares, right? But the problem is if other people join in, and other people did join in, but again, I honestly don't even remember those names, and I don't have them in front of me, and I'm not going to look them up, okay? I think a couple other people joined in and were like, yeah, take our music off, too, and Spotify was like, oh. again, is your music even on our fucking platform? And they took his fucking, they took their music off, too. I don't even know if it was a guy, I, I literally don't remember who it was. Just a couple other people was complaining about it, too, so they take um their music off as well and you think that's gonna be it and the problem is is if like actual mainstream artists do this shit then you got a problem with rogan because like if fucking like i don't know like taylor swift and fucking i don't know like kendrick lamar and like these big fucking name people who people actually give a shit about and listen to then Spotify's got an actual choice to make. And Spotify is primarily a music thing, and I think that's what, like, they want to keep as being, like, what they are established. So, I think they'd probably choose the fucking... If, like, a bunch of, like, people like Kendrick, Taylor Swift, fucking, like, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, you know, Harry Styles, all these, like, fuck-ton of listener motherfuckers... I think they I think they go with them. They'll blow that hundred mil. Because here's the thing. They'll lose that hundred mil on Rogan. But again, their their platform will be like squeak, squeaky woke liberal queen clean, right? They won't have any like people like big enough like Rogan's like their biggest fucking podcaster and he like sketches out he does, the liberals don't like him, okay? But 
if he's gone, then they go go back to being squeaky clean and they keep all their fucking top tier talent. So I think if if that if like actual fucking big ones come, then yeah, they're fucking absolutely choosing them over Rogan. Unless they can like find that little wiggle room out of it, they can get some little sneaky way out of it. But I don't, I don't know. I don't see that happening. I mean, it could. Maybe they like, hey, maybe we'll just like, uh, I don't know, fucking, I don't even know, like, put a fucking person on with Rogan to make sure he's vet Rogan's videos. I don't know. I don't know. But so, right. So then this happens. Um, the other two pull out. Okay. And I guess Spotify lost a bunch of market value or something, but it's like, bro, just get it discounted. Like, Spotify's not fucking going anywhere. I don't have Spotify. I say fuck that shit. I'd rather own my music than rent it. Um, so, I mean, I could give a shit less about what, what fucking Spotify does. But, yeah, so from there, what happens next, okay? So then people, of course, there's a thing with fucking Dwayne The Rock Johnson getting involved. And, and Joe Joe obviously posts a thing like, yeah, maybe I should have someone with the contra a contrary opinion on after I have these people saying all this stuff that they don't like, right? He has someone on after it. And he, Joe says a, a couple other... I don't remember everything he said. I, I watched it briefly. I, I don't remember all... But he pretty much was like, yeah, I can I can work to do better, okay? Um, and The Rock is like, you know, you know what? Good job, Joe. I can't wait to, you know, be on the podcast with you. You know, The Rock wants that fucking exposure as well. Rock's like the fucking, like, 200 million Instagram followers. This guy doesn't really need it, but whatever. He wants to, he might want to go on Rogan. I don't know. Who okay, cares, okay? But then some other, someone tweets at him like, hey, Joe has said that word that begins with an N. And everybody. Oh, God. It was, it was insane how this was, I think this was trending on Twitter. It was big. We're sharing, like, a clip of Joe Rogan saying this word. And then the funny thing comes up where you have, like, I saw a montage of, like, Young Turks people saying it. I saw a montage, not a montage, I saw a clip of Biden saying it. And it's like, bro, you guys are getting upset about Rogan for throwing out these slurs. I believe, I don't know, I honestly don't know the context of any of them because all these things were fucking cut, okay? Okay. All the, the TYT ones were all cut, the Biden one was cut, and the Rogan one was cut, okay? So I don't know if they were quoting or saying it, or, or I don't know the context of how any of them were saying it. Any of them. Which is kind of fucking annoying, so I can't assume what the context were saying, any of them were saying it. But I guess, worst case, like, these people were, let's, let's say, like, TYT and Biden were quoting someone else, right? I believe... The people on the left, these people trying to cancel Rogan, still don't fuck with that. So how are you going to give Biden 81 million fucking votes if you don't fuck with it? Like, it's just an absolute double standard. And then and then if, if Rogan, I don't know, if Rogan wasn't quoting other, which I, I think he, some of them, at least some of them were quoting other people. I mean, the guy's a comedian, so maybe he was saying it without quoting other people. But again, I don't know the context of it. Right, and the context wasn't him saying it to like a fucking black person, like to be a dick. Um, I, I again, I, I just don't know the context of it because all these fucking montages are just fucking cut up. I, I have no idea what the contexts are. So without really knowing any of the contexts, I can't really fucking decide if. I mean, again, if you're just fucking like quoting other people, I I don't I could care fucking less. If, you're, if Joe's telling a joke again, like he's telling a fucking joke. But just the absolute double standard of these motherfuckers throwing a fit at Rogan for uh, using, for I mean, the misinformation, step one, them pulling music from these fucking who, who's, these no one, like, who, I don't know who these people are, and then just these montages of just these N-word montages. It's like, dude, you, you got one of the TYT people, you got one of Biden. Not a montage of Biden, I, I just saw a clip of him. Um... And, and, yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, misinformation is just information you disagree with. Like, let's let's be real, right? And I don't, I, like, again, I'm not a fucking scientist, okay? But, like, what I remember in science is that, like, you fucking test shit out, okay? You have to have countering opinions and such to, you know, make good ideas blossom and, and figure this shit out. Figure theory out, right? This shit starts as theory and then you can s confirm it. Right? And then let's say you got something confirmed, right? We know gravity exists, okay? We know that. 
You know, if you fucking walk out of building, fucking 30-story building, you walk out of the roof, you're gonna fall and hit the fucking ground. If there's a person, like, on Spotify, like, let's say Joe Rogan is telling people gravity doesn't exist, right? Let's say he's doing that. Let's say he's telling people gravity doesn't exist. Is that fucking stupid of him? Absolutely. fucking lutely right? But should he not be able to say this? I I don't think so, okay? I don't think he should not be able to say it, even, even if it's, like, and that's as, about fucking as dumb as you can get, right? Because let's be real, if, if he says, like, gravity doesn't exist and pushes this hard enough, there probably will be people fucking jumping out of, not, yeah, jumping out of fucking buildings and dying, right? But is that really his fault? Is it? Is it really his fault? That some dumbass on the internet heard Joe Rogan say that gravity doesn't exist, took it as gospel, and jumped out of a building? It's up for you to decide. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out, guys.